Hey guys, uh, I'm Matt Breslau. Welcome back to Let's Play Glover. In the last episode, we did some tutorial nonsense, and in this episode, look at that. We can't get up here. Oh, oh wait. Oh, we can! Okay, cool. Uh, let's get down, though, because we're going into the level. Now I get to explain one kind of final thing about 100%ing this game. In order to unlock the bonus levels, you have to collect, see in the upper left corner, those are garibs, and there's uh, a set number of them in each level. There's not 50 per level, this level just happens to have 50. And uh, you collect them, and that's basically it. They don't do anything else except unlock the bonus levels. If you get all of the garibs in a world, you unlock the bonus level for that world, and then you have to rinse and repeat for that bonus level. I'm going to be doing the bonus levels later on, that's a one-up, but... Uh, I'm still going to be collecting the Garibs now, because why would I do it a second time? This is my favorite music in the game. I can't really hear it well, but you guys should be able to, and I love it. Collect Garibs to score points, get 50, and win an extra life. So that's another thing. If you get 50 Garibs, you get an extra life. You can get lots more points if you collect them fast, and even more by using the ball. So, I don't care about points, so who cares? But if you collect Garibs fast you get more points, and depending on what ball you're using, you get more points. If you're just Glover, you get bullshit points. Glover with the ball is more, and then Glover with the crystal ball is like a ton. So that's only if you're like in real dire straits and you really, really need lives. Um, we're gonna... Uh. So this is where the game really tests you about um, your Glover capacities. <laughs> All right, come on. You can use your magic to change your ball. Yeah, we know that. Okay. But we don't need to. We're going to hop across here. I'm going to leave the ball here for a moment while I go collect these garibs on the sides here. That's just the type of guy I am. So this is another thing. You'll, you'll scout ahead a lot to get garibs. And when you do, you'll leave the ball behind. You always want to leave it in a safe place because, again, the ball has hit points. And if it pops, you lose a life. Alright, a lot of enemies also have garibs in them, so I'm going to be doing that, too. Some enemies can be destroyed by fist slamming. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Knew that. And, of course, boxes are going to have garibs in them, too, because... Fuck. Objects with cracks in them can often be smashed. Either slap the bowling ball at them or fist slam them. I'm almost never going to slap the bowling ball at them, because that's a one-way ticket to... Oops, I lost my ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, these these disappeared. <laughs> Just kidding. They're right there. <laughs> All right, free man. Okay, so this is a checkpoint. This Mr. Chip will probably tell us that. This is a checkpoint. Throw the ball through it, and you'll return here if you lose a life. Okay, well, now that we uh, sufficiently cleared this area out without the ball, let's go get it. Oh, boy. So I was kind of putting off doing this LP because um, I didn't want to do two N64 games in a row, but I did a poll about what I should do next, and everyone was like, oh, Glover, I always dribble through these. There's almost never any reason to throw. And of course, we're going to scout ahead and get the Garibs the old-fashioned way. So this level's really short. The end of the level is right there, where those sparks are. But this is kind of how the game teaches you. I don't think that fish has a Garib in it, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. It's been a long time since the last time I 100%ed Glover. So we'll have to see. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's do this. Yeah, it looks like that fish does not have one in it because there's like eight right here. One and then six and then one on the other side. So. Whoa. Oh yeah, Glover can also grab on ledges and you can pull yourself up with forward or A and go down with Z or back. All right, and that's it. We have all the Garibs already in Atlantis 1, so now let's just bring the ball there without popping it or ourselves. All right. No, 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 no. That's what I mean. You can't center the camera. You have to... <laughs> you have to just... Uh. Whew! All right. What? Uh, uh, uh. So the game is a little hard to control, especially when you go from on top of the ball to beside the ball. But um, was there something? Okay, so here's another move. I don't think the game teaches you about this. If you get on the ball, you can fist slam into the ball, and you get a really high jump, and that's how we get that extra life there. So now we've collected pretty much everything in this whole level, and it's over. And we can't see Glover because camera. 
Mm. Good. But yeah, we completed the level in four minutes and one second. Something, something, a minute and 30 seconds. That's not required for 100%, so don't worry about it. I think it's time attack. And then we got all 50 Garibs. So there's that. Here's Atlantis 2. Every world has three stages and then a boss. And then the bonus level if you collect all the Garibs. I'm just looking around because it's been a long time since I've been here. But okay, let's go. So this can be fist slammed. Um, even though I said I'm not going to use the bowling ball for stuff like this. So when I was a kid, I always just wabammed this thing. The water drains in here. And then I'm going to here a little bit. I'm going to leave the ball here for a second because i got to break these to grab some garabs. You can see the garabs hiding inside things sometimes because of the crappy camera. And that's not just on the emulator. That happens on the N64 also. But, okay. No, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> You're going to see that happen a lot. Me getting a little antsy and trying to uh, exit the transformation animation. I'll try saying that a million times fast. Before it's actually over. So here's another place we're going to leave the ball behind because we got to smack these guys. Because they all have Garibs in them. Before we go this way, this is actually the way to continue. I'm going to grab this boy here, I guess. We can come over here and there's some Garibs on the outskirts. So yeah, you are going to have to explore to find all the Garibs in the game. But I know where pretty much all of them are. And since the game is linear and doesn't usually shut you out of going back to previous areas, especially because the checkpoint system in this game. Oh, I missed some Garibs. See, that's what I mean. You can go back. Oh, camera this way. Look at that. Garibs. I would have gotten all the way to the end of the level without those Garibs. So there is uh, something in easy mode. If you hold the R button, uh, nothing happens right now. But if, if you're in easy mode, because I'm playing on normal, um, you get the Garib locator, but of course you can't finish the game on easy, so whatever. There is a glitch that allows you to use the Garib locator in normal mode, but I'm not that kind of cheater, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I, I don't think you need Glover to come up here. I, I mean, I don't think you need the ball, I should say, to come up here, because besides, this roof is slanted in ball physics. So, alright, I think that's all of them, so let's go get the ball now, and we can finally progress this way. Man. Ba-boom. So the checkpoint system is pretty good. Oh no, I fell down. Well, look at this. Well, okay, so you have to be completely stationary. <laughs> checkpoint, two of two. So the first one is where you first teleport into the level, but that, that first checkpoint we got is actually checkpoint two, but I can hit it at any time and transport there at the cost of no lives whatsoever. So yeah, you have no excuse for missing things in this game. Uh, the game doesn't shut you out. You can always go back and explore. So now we have this douchebag. I'm going to come over here and beat the crap out of him. Right on top of him. So some so Glover makes a shockwave when he does a fist slam. And that'll kill most enemies, just the shockwave. But for bigger enemies like that bull, um, you do need to actually hit the bull right on top like that. And yeah, we're playing Glover. Who'd have thunk it? Oh, God. Alright, come on. I don't have time for this. <laughs> so here's somewhere um, where we're going to need to transform the ball. Oh, no. So here's what I usually do. I get the ball right over the switch and get off. And then we're going to transform it from far away. And look at that. That opens up the exit. Look at that. Garib's on the roof. Garib's on the roof. Well, now we know. Ah. <laughs> so again, the little metal ball is not buoyant. But I can use it to sort of half dribble myself up these steps. And then, Whoa. Half dribble myself up these steps. And there we go. And now we have a third checkpoint. And before I hit that Glover switch, I'm going to attempt to get those other Garibs by doing this. See? It's all about knowing what you can do. And see, we're already all pretty much almost there. 
oh, by the way, there's fall damage, so don't fall too far or you'll take damage. Um, if you fall from too great a height, you'll take one hit, but if you fall from too, too great a height, you'll just die. Um, so that's cool. Uh, we don't need the ball right now. Collect this potion to make you big and strong. So let's do that right away. So now you're big and strong. Uh, you, you'll do more damage to enemies, but also you can do, like, more stuff in general. Let's grab these garabs over here. I think our jump is just a little bit higher, but it doesn't matter anyway. But the real big thing is we can push this. You see those arrows on top of it. Um, but yeah, you can push this. That's really the point of that potion. But now we can come over here. Whoop. And get these garabs. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa. Alright, and as you can see, uh, we are missing some garabs. So we're going to have to do some exploring. Now luckily I know where they are. Let's get the ball. So that's how you're actually supposed to get out of there, but, you know, fuck it. <laughs> I listen to no man. So. Okay. We're looking for the last couple of Garabs. Do I remember where these are? I want to say yes. I want to say I totally remember where these are. Let me go back here. I think I actually missed him at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> see, this is this is what I'm talking about, though. This game with the exploration. We're only in stage two, and I'm already looking for Garabs. Uh, let's come over here. I'm not scared. This is Glover. Right, so we we came over here already. We're only missing ten. I should be scared, but I'm not. I didn't fuck this up, did I? I hope. Did I push that where there were garabs? Did I push that thing over where there were like 10 garabs? <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what I did. Oh, yeah, you can also. Um, obviously, there's camera control. Why the fuck am I even talking about camera control anymore? All right. Oh yeah, enemies come back when you use the um, checkpoint, but they don't have garabs in them anymore. And that big guy down there at the beginning, he doesn't have any garabs in him, so I'm not worried about him. Oh wait, actually, I think this is it. I think it's uh, supposed to be down here. My controller just died. But oh, wait, there it goes. Okay. That was a weirdo. But I took some damage there. That's cool. Yeah, this is it. There's a crack in this wall. Um, okay. Let's come back to checkpoint one. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, that is. Okay. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Oh, man, Garabs, huh? Good first episode. Well, second episode. Yes. There it is. And we don't have to uh, worry about walking back there because, again, the checkpoint system. Let's go to checkpoint three. And it's already back where we put it. So we'll just go straight in. And we glovered. We're all glovered and covered. Covered with glover. These levels do get way longer as the game gets on, so I can probably do all of Atlantis in this video, but then we'll have to start splitting worlds up, I think, because it's going to get insane, but we'll see. So that took us almost 10 minutes, as you can see. The first level only took us four minutes and, and some change. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to leave the ball. I'm going to leave the ball because we have some Garabs to collect in this beginning area, and they're hidden pretty well. I'd say, from what I can remember. Again, it's been a long time. But this looks like a door you can go in, but guess what? It ain't. All right. So. 
How's everybody doing? <laughs> Let's get you. Uh, I just want to look around for a second here. All right, so we, we will get those. Don't worry about them right now. And don't worry about these over here either. I'm worried about stuff out here. This is actually a pathway. Again, game's linear, but the non-linear parts are most likely where you're going to get garibs or like extra bullshit. So let's go this way first, because there's garibs over here. This comment commentary is riveting, by the way. Is, is this is this actually anything at all? No. Okay. Well, I mean, it is, but it's nothing we can do from this angle. We'll have to come back. In case you're curious, I think single jumping is probably the fastest form of movement in this game. Double jumping slows you down just a little bit. But um, I just prefer to walk. It's a nice little trot, you know. Oh yeah, here's a boy, and his and his blob. That's a game I should LP. <laughs> All right, four garabs and a, and a one up, and yep, still garabs to get. I think that's it for over here. Yeah, that's it. So with that being said, let's go back to the beginning. Really good, that warp system. Really good. <laughs> Sam, if you're watching this, my sister, um, you're totally playing with me one of these. Um, I'll give you the controller and everything because, geez. All right. So I just chose to get those without the ball because it's easier not to have to worry about the ball when you're getting garabs. And you'll find that I do most of my garab collecting without the ball. I just, I've always been that way ever since I was a kid and, and was playing this game, so. Alright, so here's our uh, second checkpoint. Baboom. So it says we have to go to the left here first. Oh no, spiky boys. So we'll just be very careful. Those will insta-kill the ball. They'll just do damage to Glover, but they'll insta-kill the ball. So that's a thing we do not want. We're going to leave the ball right here while we take care of these floaty boys. I don't actually know the enemy's proper names. I used to have them memorized when I was a kid, but not anymore. Because, uh, well, I used to play the game a lot when I was a kid, but I can't tell you the last time I actually played Glover. Um, except I was showing it to a friend a while ago, and I, I played it with him then, but we didn't talk about the enemies. So now we got another potion. I don't know if there was a Mr. Tip about it, but this one makes Glover go Sonic. And uh, we can get across this, which we couldn't have gotten across before because it was... Well, there's a current, as you can see. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. All right. There we go. All right. That's all we have to worry about that for. We don't need the speed for anything else. So I'm going to come down here and grab these garabs I said we would get before. Because they're here. We just have to wait for the potion to expire. I don't think there's a way to cancel the potion prematurely. I could be mistaken. But, uh, oh boy. I said that's shallow water. I'm not worried. But there is a ball switch here. <laughs> so now that moves. And, of course, we don't have to walk back there. <laughs> Greatest game. 9 out of 10. So there's a one. there's a one man over there. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, 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 uh. Get the ball on uh, sturdier surface, please. There we go. And I'm not going to take the risk that I missed that jump. <laughs> Isn't it great? I can just warp back. No lives lost. It's awesome. And then, and then this thing. So at, at about this point, I think we have the correct amount of garabs. Again, we can always go back just in case. So, this is shallow water, but it is pushing us, so we have to be careful. I like to dribble from up here. I can usually get it, but fuck it. I guess we're just going to throw the ball through. There we go. Okay. So, if we just leave the ball alone, it actually won't uh, push us, unless we're holding the ball for some reason. So, I can come up here and dispatch these enemies without the ball. Again, like I said, I would do most of the time. Cool beans. And now, uh, well, no, I don't want to warp to the checkpoint. Actually, I do. There's another checkpoint we got. <laughs> right after the little turny thing. So now we do have to navigate through these enemies, but we don't have to worry about the garabs. 
And I think we'll actually get through this faster if the ball is metal. Yeah, just a little bit. So, there you go. There's another place where transforming the ball helps out a little bit. And I think... Coming up here... No! <laughs> coming up here... Yeah, so we do have a section where uh, we want the ball to be small, so, or metal, I should say, so that we can get underneath these angry fish and collect the garabs. Oh, it's also worth mentioning, I, I feel like I've already demonstrated it, but Glover can't swim. Uh, he just stays on the bottom of any water. And um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing much to say about that. All right, safest option. Uh, let's see. I want to say there were Garabs up here. I, I just I just don't remember. I don't believe so. We're only we're only missing um, twenty three, so I feel safe. But I want to. Oh yeah, if you uh, if you come up to the edge of a platform going in that direction, Glover will like sit down on it. It's really cute, actually. <laughs> So there's two ways to hold on to ledges, I guess. Oh yeah, there's something down here. There's totally Garabs over here. Any yeah, anytime you controller. Hell hello. There we go. <laughs> anytime you see like pathways like this, they almost always lead to Garabs. Um so yeah. This one goes on for a while, so I'm going to start my jumpy boys. I, th I th Watch there not be anything at the end here. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want to warp back because I think that'll take us too far, but let's just, let's just move it. And I'll go the other way, too, if there is another way. Yeah, I think there is. I just don't remember. <laughs> Oh, so the camera moves like the opposite way that you think it would. Look at that boy. All right, we're missing 15 Garabs. And they're probably over here. Now let's, get, let's get the ball. Because we'll move, we'll move faster with the ball. Of course, I've already wasted time trying to get it. Where is it? Where did I put it? It's over here. There we go. And if we come to a, like a ledge or anything, we... Uh, I'll just drop the ball and we can jump over it. Like right here, immediately as soon as I say it. Okay. <laughs> Anything in this corner? No. Other oh, oh, there's a ball switch. Ooh, sneaky snakes. Okay. So we do have to get the ball over here. So this is where slapping comes into play. Let's center the camera around us. Other way. That should do it. Come on. Is this required? It's not. Oh, there there are things though. Okay. Um, let's come over here with the ball first. Oh geez. All right. I'm not bringing the ball because that would be suicide coming down here and then trying to get the ball back up. Um, we could warp, but that would take some time. So. I'm inclined not to warp. Yeah, this is pretty much going to be the rest of them, I'm pretty sure. This portal here, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, it'll take us to the alternate world. I'm just kidding. It just takes us to a little bonus room. You touch it, and whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. And if we look around, we got some garabs on the ceiling. It looks like the remaining uh, eight that we need, actually. So here's how to do this. Well, first of all, there's this switch here. And that lowers the floor. So we can get this one up, but not that one. Hit it again. Now we can get this one. That's cool. You might think, is there anything else down there? Yeah, there is. Let's hit the switch. Come on. Let's hit the switch one more time. Let's hit the switch one more time. And let's, uh, let's take a look at, at what the game has in store for us. Sweet death. Very nice. All right. But anyway, here's a potion. This one we haven't seen before. But it's a wall walking potion. This potion will let us walk on walls and ceilings. You just have to do it. Welcome to Super Mario Galaxy. My name's Glover. 
So this is here's where the controls start to take effect, <laughs> and they they become a little bit weird. But you, you get that you get the hang of it eventually. Like I'm not right now. Come on, two more, and then we're warping the fuck out of here. I don't care what anyone says. Warpy boys. Let's make this a quick getaway with the metal ball. Wait for you. Here we go. Mmm, Glover. Playing that glove. Loving that glove. No glove, no glove. No love, no glove. No love, no love, no glove and love. Well, we have all the garabs. I guess that means we can fucking leave. You know what? Let's keep the metal ball. Why not? Actually, <laughs> I don't know if it'll survive that gap. I'm scared. Let's dribble over it. <laughs> and that's the end of stage three in Atlantis. Uh, yeah. And we'll do the boss real quick, and then I guess that'll be it for this episode. Wow. I don't know. Actually, I think we'll save the boss for the next time. Because it's been quite a, quite a long time. So, see you guys next time.